He really taught me the craft in a kind of crash course, that is, the American broadcasting craft. Um, here I came from a wire service where you're very, you know, sort of very cut and dried. And, um, and uh, Chancellor not only introduced me to the pubs in that part of London that he liked, I, my pubs tended to be down in the Fleet Street area. This was around the BBC Broadcasting House area where NBC was. Anyway, I sat down and I, first of all, I read through every script he had done for the last several years, and which gave me a good idea. And then I went to the studio with him and listened to him do chats back and forth. Remember the Monitor series on NBC Radio on the weekends? They would do informal chats with correspondents overseas. And coming from the wire service, I was terrified that he wouldn't have enough information and I would prepare all kinds of, remember I was the editorial assistant then, I would prepare all kinds of background information on this crisis or that position in British policy and I'd come over with stacks of stuff and lay it all out on the desk and then he'd have one of these little chats and he wouldn't look at anything and of course he knew it all. Um, and uh, as I discovered, one did. Um, but also, Chancellor had a wonderful sense of humor uh, in those days. He got a little stiffer later, but uh, he, um, he was very funny and he did a lot, he did a lot of emphasis. Uh, there was an essay series on uh, NBC radio called Emphasis and we quit, all the correspondents did some of them, but his was among the funniest. And I think CBS had something called Dimension and these, these were emphasis. Anyway, so I learned that you can be funny on uh, on your broadcasting as well as serious, and that there was a way of introducing some style and humor. And of course, this was the dawn of the Huntley Brinkley era, who had given, were giving CBS with its rather more sober-sided and traditional way of seeing the news, a real run for their money with the audience, because Huntley Brinkley introduced a lighter, more, as it was called at the time, entertaining mode. It still seems models of seriousness compared to the news today, but anyway. Uh, so, Chancellor was my mentor and very helpful and kind to me in those few months. And the other thing was, I wondered how to broadcast. I mean, I'd been, I'd been doing my CBC stuff uh, in a way I thought appropriate for the CBC. And the CBC style was kind of uh, God in heaven, you know. Um, uh, and uh, from the height to the lower depths. Um, and uh, Chancer had this nice informal style. Now, there were many styles around to choose from. There were people who declaimed the news and people who announced the news and proclaimed the news and some people who even sort of sang the news. And what Chancellor did, which was wonderful, he just told you the news conversationally in the most natural sounding voice. Like somebody, uh, like somebody just talking to you interestingly. And I thought, that's the style I want to adopt. And I just copied his, his style. Mm -hmm. and, um, and Jack, whom I loved and was very kind to me, and he later became a very big fan of the program uh, we did on PBS. And I always felt very close to him, but he did get a bit more pompous at the end of this. And he suddenly started calling himself John Chancellor, uh, and uh, there was a, a tribute done for him by the New York Television Academy some years ago, and a lot of us, a long time ago now, Barbara Walters, and a lot of us spoke about him, and he was sitting in the front row, and I said, I remember Jack when he used to cover the Chancellor of the Exchequer, and he did not crack a smile. He didn't like that at all, but um, he, was, he was wonderful. He was a very big talent. And his talent was not so much, he made a good anchor man and a commentator later, but his real talent was as a writer and uh, a reporter. Remember the famous moment in the 64 convention when, uh, the Goldwater convention, when uh, Chancellor got hustled off by a couple of goons on the floor of the Republican convention and he kept on broadcasting and he said, this is John, until he went out of sight, and they could still hear him saying, this is John Chancellor reporting from somewhere in captivity. 